Hey everyone, welcome to another interview on this channel. Today I have the honor, privilege to have a great friend of mine, Fernie Ceballos, uh, here together with me. Fernie is obviously one of the attraction marketing godfathers together with Mike Dillard and is the CMO of attractionmarketing.com. Now, if you don't know Fernie now, he's going to make an intro, but uh, I've been knowing Fernie now, it was February 2016. I didn't know anything about online marketing, attraction marketing, nothing. I joined the network marketing opportunity, didn't really like the offline way. I'm kind of shy, introverted. So I wanted to build my business online. And I remember, remember typing on the internet, on Google, how to make six or seven figures, something like this, uh, in network marketing. And one of the first search results on Google was a blog post from Fernie. So I read the blog post, it's like, oh, this is amazing. So he was talking about all an attraction marketing, digital network marketing. So I opt in. I, I didn't know anything about funnels, offers, and he was selling his book, Attraction Marketing Formula, that I have there. So I buy this, this book. Then it was offered also membership into what was Elite Marketing Pro. I joined it. And Actually, long story short, I become one of the top earners for Elite Marketing Pro, uh, probably one of the uh, known English speaking uh, people to be in the, in the leaderboard and then uh, learn so much from the guys from Fermi, from Tim. So super grateful for, for you guys. So thank you, Fermi, for, for being here today. And also, if you want to make an intro for some people that don't know you. Yeah, man. Thank you. Uh, it's been it's been awesome seeing your growth, man, and your uh, evolution as an entrepreneur. You started off, you know, in network marketing, moved to uh, doing affiliate marketing, and then you, you know, started your own, you know, your own companies. And and I see you just out there, either in ads or uh, videos all over YouTube. So it's just it's been really cool seeing you grow and evolve. And and I think you you uh, coming from, uh, you know, outside the United States, not being an English speaker. <clears throat> and sometimes people believe that that is is a you know disadvantage or you know because they're operating in a mostly english market but you you've you've shattered the myth that people that aren't native english speakers can succeed in attraction marketing um you know you travel all over the world you form partnerships with some of the most elite entrepreneurs in the world uh and, and so you've just removed every excuse uh yeah. for for anybody um that doesn't think they can do it and and so because you you had a you can say it's a disadvantage i think somehow you turned it into an advantage and uh you know because you were the only person on our leaderboard that wasn't a native english speaker or wasn't from the us like you yeah. um and it, it it helped you actually stand out so i would say that was an advantage because people are like wow vicenzo's kicking butt and <laughs> and uh you know, clearly he's he's not from from the U.S. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe people like it had an accent. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> could be. Yeah. So so it's I'm just again, I'm I'm really honored to, to be having this conversation with you and uh, seeing your growth. Really proud of you, brother. Um, you. And I, I guess at this point I should say, I should kind of tell people who I am. Right. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I um, you know, I come actually from a, a family of immigrants. So we're talking about, you know, non-native uh, U.S. Uh, people. You know, my my parents were Mexican immigrants. I was born in 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 the United States in East L.A. Um, and uh, you know, I did all the right things. You know, even though I grew up in a rough neighborhood where a lot of bad things happened, uh, I'd say my parents did a, a great job of keeping me out of trouble and focusing me on school. And I. Did really well in school so good in fact that i uh eventually was able to uh qualify to go to mit uh to become an engineer and so going to from east l.a to the world's most prestigious um school in the world uh, as it relates to science and technology was like a huge change um but i actually was very excited and welcomed it and literally to this day the smartest people in the world people with the highest iqs and people that are making the most impact and various fields are like my friends, you know, I just, you know, I, I get, I know, who, you know, them personally, uh, we hung out, we spent time together and, and, and so it's like really interesting that I come from that world, but 
I think what, um, you know, what for me, as I was studying there and eventually as I got a job as an aerospace engineer after that, I just realized that engineering is not was not a passion for me. It's not something I really wanted to do uh, long term. And mm -hmm. even though my friends love what they do, they're very passionate about uh, being a programmer, an engineer, or uh, you know, uh, aerospace uh, um, designer. Like, like some of my friends literally make rocket ships for SpaceX. Like that's what they do. Um, and you know, working alongside Elon Musk, that that those are the caliber of people. But it was like I don't like I look at those folks, and aside from like yeah, being able to hang out with Elon Musk, it was like what they describe as what they love was more of a nightmare for me. I was like, <laughs> like, it was just like, I wouldn't cut it there. And so I needed to figure something different out. And, um, you know, while I was in grad school at USC, uh, a friend of mine, uh, or not a friend of mine, a homework partner, acquaintance hit me up on AOL instant messenger back in the day and, uh, and invited me to his house to, to talk about a business. And he's an engineer. He's, uh, you know, smart dude. And I'm expecting that this business we're going to talk about is some sort of internet startup that where we're going to like go to Silicon Valley and get rich. Um, I was like, yeah, let's let's talk about that. And it turns out it was like uh, a meeting for network marketing. And and everyone there, by the way, was an engineer. You know, one of the guys there that was leading the presentation was uh, a, I think he had a triple major from Caltech. You know, genius guy. Um, like triple major in physics, um, uh, math and electrical engineering, something like that. Um, and so he was drawing circles, you know, on the board. And I was like, oh, okay, it's one of those things. And here's the thing, after that meeting, I did not want to do that at all. I was completely turned off by, by how the deception of getting me there, um, like not giving me details about, okay, what, what is this really about? Because I would have pretty much said no. Um, from the get-go, uh, but then also, uh, you know, I just, I didn't want to get involved in network marketing. I, I was in it, dabbled in it in high school, and I was just like, yeah, it's not something I want to do. However, at this point, I was so not wanting to be at my job, and no one else was giving me another option, uh, an alternative, and so the desire to want to leave my job and do something different uh that didn't involve engineering is essentially what drove me to call up the person that that invited me there and just tell him okay i'm ready like let's just let's do this so it wasn't the pitch that sold me it was just the fact that there was another option aside from what i was doing and i did that for nine months and actually i was pretty successful doing network marketing offline traditional but it was just another thing that I hated. I, I did not enjoy the, the old school stuff. Uh, and that's what led me to find Mike Dillard and Magnetic Sponsoring and Tim Irway, um, where they introduced me to digital marketing for network marketers, which which they call the traction marketing. So, and they basically were the first people in network marketing to talk to me like an adult and say, this is a real business. These are the skills you got to learn. This is how you build it. There's a, there's, these are the metrics, you know, cause as an engineer, I was like process and tracking are like, you're having your numbers uh, tell the story, you know, appealed to me. And that was the first person anyone had, first time anyone had ever talked to me that way. And so I went through their training program and became one of their top students really fast. And uh, in two years after finding them, I quit my job uh, shortly thereafter. I hit the six-figure uh, income level in my opportunity and my, you know, uh, network marketing opportunity. And then uh, from there, I evolved to uh, creating my own training company, uh, primarily out of events. So I was the first to organize the No Excuses Summit, which was the the, the first home business training event for online network marketers. Uh, like the and so the first. You know, time we did it, we got a thousand people there. Mike Dillard was a speaker. All these other, you know, attraction marketing, uh, you know, gurus were speakers. Tim Irway was a speaker. And so that's how, uh, you know, I got into the training business. I grew a seven figure business there. And um, in 2014, I was approached by Tim Irway uh, to essentially become on to the company that he and Mike uh, had started 
as a partner because Mike had stepped away and he was going to go off other ventures. And so um, Mike, Tim bought out Mike from that company and I stepped in basically in Mike's role in that company. And, uh, and, and so that company was called Elite Marketing Pro. And then he, now it's, you know, it's, it's called uh, attractionmarketing.com. Same company. It went from magnetic sponsoring, Elite Marketing Pro, and now it's attractionmarketing.com. And it's evolved and it's evolved into to producing uh, multiple eight figures uh, since I started working with the company. And uh, we've just grown and, and it's pretty cool because I started as a student, now I'm an owner. And you, Vincenzo, you started as, as a student. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so now seeing you grow into a bona fide badass entrepreneur is pretty cool because it reminds me a lot of me. Yeah, actually very similar story. I'm also an engineer. I'm a civil engineer. Uh, yeah. I studied in Turing Polytechnic University. Then I also didn't want to do, I didn't want to be an engineer for the rest of my life. I saw my bosses, the life they were living. I didn't yeah. want to live the same life. Uh, and we're just looking for alternatives. And the, the one I found was network marketing, you know, because low startup costs and um, also the personal development involved. But then again, I didn't like the offline way. So found you guys, uh, really changed everything for me because I learned so much uh, from you and like, uh, obviously funnels, Facebook ads, uh, yep. that was my first expertise and email. And then went on to create my own coaching program and now doing something else. So uh, I'm really, really thankful for uh, the role that you played in, in my journey. Yeah, absolutely, uh, man. Yeah. So obviously you mentioned Mike and uh, we both read this book that changed our life, Magnetic Sponsoring. So. And then you wrote your own one, which is Attraction Marketing Formula. And guys, you can find the link in the description. And yeah, it, how did this book change your life? Yeah, well, it, it, it was a paradigm shift. It was the first time anyone in network marketing had, again, like I said, spoken to me like an adult. And what I mean by that is that uh, we're teaching me, rather than telling me, hey, this is not selling, it's sharing. You know, you just got to bring more people. You just got to share this with more people and you're going to get rich. Like, that's how they literally they spoke to me. And and as a, you know, uh, I, I was definitely not one of the geniuses at MIT. I was one of those people that had to work hard to to get there and then, you know, graduate from there. Um, but I, I felt like that was, you know, insulting my intelligence just to kind of like just say, yeah, yeah, it's a, there's no there's no selling. You just got to share more people, bring more people to meetings. That's all you got to do. Like, and you're going to get rich. And so that didn't make sense to me because there's no other career in the world that where you can make six figures and not have to learn skills and approach it like a professional. And, and that somehow network marketing was the exception just didn't ring true to me, but I wasn't sure what to do about it until I found magnetic sponsoring and magnetic sponsoring was, was, you know, started explaining to me, okay, this is what they're telling you to do. Here's what you got to do, but you got to learn these skills. You got to learn, how to advertise. You got to learn how to build uh, funnels uh, in order to, you know, attract and also, you know, follow up with people in a leveraged way. And, and, and so, you know, and the, and the idea of like, you know, it being laid out in a process, you build this first thing, you build this first thing, you build this first, and that's how the machine works. And then you just, uh, there's an input and an output as an engineer that, that made sense to me. Um, but in general, you know, as I've come to find out in business, business is all about processes. It's all about developing new skills as the business grows. And so, so I think that's just that that's what was lacking from my network marketing experience and from the network marketing experience of most people in network marketing is they're talked down to. They're not, uh, they're, it doesn't, the truth about the fact that they have to develop real skills, entrepreneurial skills. They do have to learn how to sell as much as people don't want to, you know, say that if they want to grow a big team, if they want to grow a six figure income, they do have to learn how to sell. They do, they have to learn how to lead. They have to learn how to, you know, create structures and processes to, to make the business work. And so so if somebody has a goal of, of replacing their job and going six figures, um, what doesn't happen in network marketing most of the time is they're not told what it's going to take up front um and they're they're deceived uh and so mike and and tim when i went through magnetic sponsoring and eventually their their other training program um you know just they were they were teaching me how to market to build the business 
Mm -hmm. And and that made sense to me. And now I was like, I felt good about being a network marketer. I felt like I'm a professional. Like I can feel like a professional now because I'm learning professional skill sets. Whereas most network marketing doesn't approach it that way. Exactly. Yeah. Probably one of the biggest le lessons I learned was to create your actually your own brand, uh, U. Inc. Because you don't own the network marketing company, it can disappear tomorrow. So uh, while if you, whereas if you build your own brand, that remains. So that really shifted my mm -hmm. mindset a lot. And uh, and then obviously, you are one of the godfathers. So I don't know if you actually invented the term attraction marketing or it was before or you applied it to this uh and i'm sure now obviously it's super popular and everyone knows about it but for those for the network marketers that don't know this yet what, what exactly is attraction marketing and how does it work yeah so attraction marketing the the, the term was actually coined by mike dillard in magnetic sponsoring so that was the first time it was actually used uh to describe how his approach was different from everybody else now, the, the thing that makes it different, first and foremost, it's a different philosophy. Uh, most of what's taught in network marketing, the way it's taught, uh, comes from a selfish perspective. Uh, and what I mean by that is like when you're asked to make your list of 100 friends and family, it's like, so how do I, so you ask, how do I grow my business? Well, you have to make a list of your friends and family. We're going to reach out to them and, and try to schedule some three ways or get them to a meeting or do something like that. And that's how you're going to build it. So that in of itself to me is like a very selfish approach um, in the, in, with the intention that it begins with, uh, with no care for the collateral damage that's going to happen in that person's personal life with those relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, if they had started with the intention of like, uh, well, we have this product that's a weight loss product and, uh, and we have an opportunity to, but let's start with the weight loss product. Who do you know in your who your friends who have expressed the desire to want to get healthier and lose weight? Then, then if you make a list of those people, then you're starting with the intention of wanting to help those people based on what you know about them. Mm -hmm. And then, who else do you know who maybe uh, needs to lose weight but you know hasn't really said that they want to? Okay, write those people down. So those people will probably need to have a conversation to see if they even have a desire to want to do something like this. And then, then everybody else. So now you're, you're kind of almost creating a target market from the people, you know, and you're starting understanding what their problems are, what they've shared with you previously. So therefore it comes from a place of wanting to help them and solve their problem. And your product just happens to be a solution for it. And so the, so attraction marketing is really about leading, uh, leading with a message around the problems in your target market. And this is something that can happen offline. It can happen through uh, social media where you're interacting with people. But and then it, obviously it happens with automation when you create funnels and, and do advertising, especially when you create funnels and do advertising. You have your advertising will not work. Your funnels will not work unless you are speaking to the problems and the solutions that people are seeking in their life or in their business or whatever the context is. Um, so attraction marketing was really about attracting people to you by talking about something that they care about and that they want to solve. And that can, that philosophy can now be, be taken into even traditional strategies. Um, but the, the problem with traditional strategies is that most of it is taught, like I described in the selfish way. Well, what's in it for me? How do I build my business? How do I recruit more people? How do I, you know, get more people onto my team? And if that's the, the problem you're solving for, then you're, you're not going to have success. Eventually, you know, network marketers who do things traditionally eventually figure out on their own that they need to be listening to the people they're talking to and identify a problem that they can then create alignment with their solution. And that's how, that those are the people that ultimately become successful. But the way it's taught leaves a lot of um room for doing it the wrong way or if it's just taught very tactically but with no intention behind it for caring for the other person which is how most of network marketing trainers approach it um then it just it people are going to struggle because they're going to sense the desperation they're going to sense that you're just wanting to do this because you want to grow your business not because you want to help them and uh and they're going to you know reject you you become attractive when 
first and foremost, you get somebody to, to when you know what their problem is, and then you start speaking about how you might be able to help them uh, based on the problem they have, and that draws them in. And so attraction marketing is about having the message that draws them in, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation or whether it's uh, doing it through advertising. And that's the only way advertising will work. And that's the reason advertising is so pure is because you will lose your money if you don't first and foremost get clear on what they care about, not what you care about. Amazing. Um, and yeah, I, I was just remembering now, uh, when I wanted to go online and transition from offline to online, what I did at the beginning was just transferring what I was doing offline, online. So I, I started to add people on Facebook, copy pasting messages, spamming yeah. groups, and then obviously I got banned from Facebook. And only then I finally discovered your strategies, uh, your blog posts and everything. So um, what are now the three biggest mistakes that you see network marketers are making right now when they try to go online, but they don't deploy attraction marketing strategies? Yeah, well, uh, I'd say the mistake is, is one, uh, they start with the intention of how do I build my business? Mm -hmm. Your prospects don't care about how do you build your business? And, and so I, I think first and foremost, I think I covered that part. It's like, have the, the proper intention, um, you know, actually care about the people you're speaking to. And I know we, I know you got in this to want to make money and I know you want to figure out, uh, the fastest way possible to make money. And I'm telling you, it's counterintuitive. The fastest way to make money in, uh, network marketing and using attraction marketing, uh, is by taking the focus off of yourself and put the f focus on your, your prospect. So that's number one. Um, number two is defining a target market. You know, the, the, the myth in network marketing is that everyone is your prospect and everyone is not your prospect. Uh, that's not how businesses work. Businesses have a target market always. There's no exception. There's no business in the world where they go, uh, every person is my prospect, no matter who they are, <laughs> even a grocery store has a target market. Um, and so they just, their target market's much bigger, but you know, it's basically, you know, their target market is people who, who want to buy food, but then even Whole Foods has a target market. Whole Foods does not target people who are poor. Yeah. Whole Foods targets uh, a person who is more affluent and, and cares about, you know, a more about their health. And so they've defined a target market and there's grocery stores for, for people who, uh, care more about price uh, around their food rather than it being organic or that stuff. And so target market is key. So knowing based on what you have, a product or opportunity, you you define the problem, the big problem in your target market. So your target market is going to be the people that are suffering from this problem, X problem, fill in the blank. And so, for example, uh, the target market for attractionmarketing.com, my company, is, uh, you know, struggling network marketers, people that oh, one of the target markets is people who are struggling in the network marketing business. So that's a target market where it's like network marketers who are struggling with what they've been taught in their business. So therefore, that's who you're serving. Another target market we have is for leaders, leaders in network marketing who are making money, but they're spending, they have no time freedom meaning they're spending most of their time in their business. So as their business grows, their time freedom diminishes and it turns into a job that they hate. So that's another target market. And the funnel for those two target markets, even though it's still in network marketing, has to be different. I have to speak to them differently because they have fundamentally different problems, even though they're all they're both network marketers. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, first and foremost, define who your target market is. You can do that. You can reverse engineer it based on your product. Or, or some of your products. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, a client of mine was struggling with figuring out what, who is their target market? Who do they want to have conversations with? And, uh, and this person, um, you know, has a company that offers a lot of different products. It's kind of like, you know, uh, you know, like whatever you need for your home, they have. So it's like, how do I pick a product and, and go back and pick a target market? Well, it's like all these products like that she had are really healthy, they're organic, uh, if they're cleaning products, they're non-toxic, and and um, you know, and so uh, I was like, well, 
a potential target market could be, you know, stay at home moms that are very busy running the household, trying to do meal prep and, and get all their kids fed, get them off to school, have a healthy, clean household, make sure their kids are healthy. So basically a stay at home mom who wants a healthy, happy and healthy family is her target market. And then, okay, now she has direction to go and have conversations on social media and network and engage with people who fit that profile. And she's not probably not going to have conversations with most men unless they are stay at home dads. In that case, they would apply it as well. But most of the time, you know, in our society, it's, it's mainly moms. Um, and so, so that's the idea having a target market. Number three is find a mentor, you know, have find a mentor who knows how to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. And if the, the strategy you're being taught by your company makes you uncomfortable in that it feels like it feels like you're compromising your integrity or you're being sneaky or being awkward or you having to hide information from your prospects so you can get them onto a call. All that, you know, basically, if it feels that way, then I would, you know, highly recommend finding somebody that can teach you a way of building on social media. And this is not necessarily with funnels and advertising. There's ways to build on social media where you can operate with integrity, be feel good about it and actually like enjoy the interaction. And you're not you're very likely not going to be dealing with a lot of rejection if you do it that way. You're not going to be dealing with angry people that are like, why are you messaging me? Stop messaging me. Um, you know, people are less likely to ghost you uh, or disappear because um, all the deception and all the like being coy um that that is kind of associated with a lot of traditional tactics um you know are just not a part of attraction marketing even if you're doing it on social media from your personal profile yeah absolutely and also guys i would add uh if you're looking for a mentor right now obviously you're in network marketing uh definitely reach out to fernie or obviously go to attractionmarketing.com uh, or click the link in the description to buy his book um if, yeah, if I had to think about someone to recommend in the network marketing profession, I would say maybe I know five people that are obviously good and and Fernie and, and the team team and uh, all everyone there uh, is definitely on the top of yeah. this list. So yeah, de definitely the place to start is the, the link in the description, um, because that'll get you uh, to buy my book, which will de be delivered to you digitally. It also give you an opportunity to get a couple of coaching calls yeah. uh, with somebody I personally mentored so they can help kind of, you know, give you give you the, the first the foundation of what you're going to need in order to build from there. Um, and so so that's where you're going to get there. And then you're going to you know learn about everything else we have to offer where you can potentially get more in-depth mentoring uh, depending on your goals. Exactly. Um, so um, when I started, obviously, uh, one of the strategies, you, the main maybe strategy you were teaching was Facebook ads mm -hmm. back in, it was 2016, February. Um, now, if if you were to recommend some strategies, what would you recommend to, to network marketers wanting to build their business online? Yeah, so, uh, you know, back in the day, we found that the majority of people that were coming to us were people that already were network marketing for a little while. They tried the old school way. Here's the thing. Doing it the old school way, just by the nature of just doing it, people learn a lot of uh, intangible skills related yeah. to communication. And they also go through a lot of personal development, which is very positive about most of the training that happens in network marketing. So I'm not here to say that all of it is bad uh, or good. It's just like some of it's effective and some of it is really not effective. Um, and so, so that was really good. But also the most important thing of having somebody go through that uh, experience is that they persevered they made it through that boot camp so to speak and they're like i'm not quitting i just need to figure out a different way and so that's when people really found us and so for those folks we can introduce them right away to something like facebook ads and they just jump all in because uh we know they're they have they, they've already kind of been battle tested but they also have some intangible skills that um that they got from that traditional experience. And so now in today's market with the pandemic and people basically being home and, uh, you know, doing things old school is literally not going to work anymore, like at all, uh, doing it offline. 
um, you have to figure out online. And so we've actually created uh, training programs uh, that for somebody that that doesn't want to do advertising quite yet, or or maybe just is so new to network marketing that they they they're they, they just that would be too much to take on. Um, you know, we created programs that that deal with more how to do attraction marketing on social media um, without paid advertising. How do you do it using investing your time as opposed to your dollars? And how do you grow an so? But the same idea applies. Uh, you know, you're basically attracting an audience on social media. There's strategies. There's different tactics you can use to do that. You build a relationship with that following. You add value to them. You you and they all are in a certain target market. And so, you know, the things you're going to talk about and share on your personal profile, they care about because they're in your target market. And then there's an invitation. Those people that you created a relationship with, you can uh, do two types of invitations. One invitation could be a direct one on one invitation because you identify that they have a problem that you can help them with. And so you hop on a call. You can also do a, a one to many invitation where you have a, a large enough following where you just do one post and and you get people to raise their hand again yeah i'm interested in something like that can we have a conversation and all of a sudden you just passively attract mm -hmm. and get people to take a look at your product or opportunity and so so i'd recommend for brand new network marketers to develop a, a social media attraction strategy uh that starts there before you get into paid advertising um and then eventually you want to create more leverage and so you want to basically start building systems as you grow so that you, you reduce the amount of time that you're investing and get more of your time freedom back as your business grows. And that's when uh, doing paid advertising and, and building funnels. And there's different types of funnels that you can create. Eventually, you'll want to create, as you start recruiting people, you'll want to create team training systems and 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 create systems that create leverage for supporting your team so it's always like the stair step evolution mm -hmm. uh, of sophistication but people make a lot of money and do really well with that first level which is just building organically on social media and and duplicating just that if you just master that part uh you can do really well in network marketing and then when you add the other stuff you just go to the moon after that Exactly. Yeah, because maybe majority of network marketers that are watching this, uh, they wouldn't know. But um, at a certain point, like I was making much more promoting, obviously, your stuff. And then I was thinking my network marketing opportunity and I was diversifying. So if anything happened to my network marketing opportunity, I still had a big income coming from you. So definitely it's something that for every network marketing I would recommend to do. And then yeah. all the skills I learned from you, then I applied to start my own business. So I transferred all those skills. It's something that uh, it didn't really only serve me uh, to make some commissions from you guys. So um, that's that's been amazing. So maybe if you, obviously to reward people that have been watching up to now, um, if you had one last, let's say, secret or bonus tip for people that want to really accelerate their results online. Uh, bonus tip, wow, okay. Uh, you got me on the spot here. Um, well, I've, I mean, I've obviously, I have a, you know, the philosophy of attraction marketing is very different from what people have are accustomed to hearing. And I hope that what I'm sharing is providing a little sense of like, okay, finally something that, that seems like it makes sense. Cause a lot of people don't want to give up network marketing because they see the success other people are having. They're just not wanting to do it the way they did it. Um, and so, so hopefully people are in that place. Yeah. Here's the last tip. If you have a desire to want to grow a large business, meaning by large, I really mean basically your, your desire to make a full time or a six figure income in this profession, then there's do not uh, listen to anybody that's going to tell you that it's easy, that it's going to be quick and and uh, and that it's going to happen without you learning skill sets. Mm -hmm. You are going to, one of the things I really appreciate about Eric Gorey is that he really, you know, created the, the rally cry around becoming a network marketing professional. Yeah. And so 
our rally cry, rally cry is more about becoming an attraction marketing professional. There is no such thing as an attraction marketing light person that makes six figures. You got to be willing to invest in, in developing yourself, uh, invest in yourself, both time and money in developing skill sets. Um, and if anyone that that's telling you that you're going to, you know, be able to earn a six figure income by joining a training program, that's like $30 a month. Uh, they're either not being honest with you or you're not being honest with yourself uh, about that, that strategy. People that know what they're doing, uh, are going to charge you to teach you their strategies and that's okay. So be okay, create a budget or, or be okay. At least start thinking about, um, investing in yourself to develop skills that can help you become that six figure earner. Cause there's no way, no, no way around that. Now, if you want to make a couple hundred bucks a month, uh, an extra thousand dollars a month in network marketing, that, that, that probably most of what you need is probably already within your company. You'll probably need to get some customers from your sphere, you know, from your friends and family. And as long as you approach it in the way I talked about earlier. Um, but if you're wanting to grow a big business, uh, it's not going to be quick. It's not going to be fast. And it's going to require you to de develop skills and invest in yourself. And that's okay because really there's no other profession in the world that doesn't require that of you. If you want to make six figures, there is no get rich quick in becoming a lawyer. You have to go to school, get a law degree, pass the bar, own your chops in, in, on the field or in a courtroom. And then eventually you can get rich yeah. uh, a little slowly, but you get rich nonetheless. And in network marketing and traction marketing, um, the opportunity to get wealthy, it's there and it actually can happen a lot faster. Yeah. And, and without you having to learn the level of skill and study as hard as an attorney, but you still have to be willing to work hard. You still have to be willing to, to study, learn from mentors and, and, and be okay with the fact that it might take six months, a year, even two years. I mean, you know, investing in yourself for a year, two years, even three years to build a six figure income, I think is a fair trade. And I yeah. think you have to think about it that way. And if you're thinking two months into it, why am I not making money yet? Or why am I not rich? Then I, I think you're just forgetting the fact that the world doesn't operate that way. Exactly. Yeah. And I don't know how much you spent for your education at MIT, but I spent a lot for yeah. my education in engineering. I spent obviously five years of my life and I didn't make any money. I actually spent money. So if you if you're willing to invest one, two, three years learning these skills, then you can be good for the rest of your life. And of course, you have much more leverage than a normal job. Your income is not capped. So right. definitely become a professional. Uh, right. So, yeah, thanks so much, Fernie, for everything. And obviously now um, we already mentioned this, but uh, where can people find out more about you, what you do, guys? And then again, I'm going to put the link in the description for Furnace book, which highly I recommend you get, guys, because it really changed my business and of many hundred other people uh, all over the world. Yeah, you can find us at attractionmarketing.com. You can find us on Facebook. Just search for uh, attractionmarketing.com. And then, I'll, but also, if you want to get a discount on, on my book, The Attraction Marketing Formula, then the link in the description that Vicenzo is going to give you. We'll, we'll give you a, a discount on that so that you're paying a little less or paying a lot less actually for, for that resource. And what see, I, I want to set the expectation, just like magnetic sponsoring, that book is designed to give people a, sh a paradigm shift. Yeah. You have to understand the concept of attraction marketing, and how it works. Hopefully you, you know a little bit now that you watch this recording, but you need to understand the concept before you build on top of it. So what the mistake people make, if you want another tip, is that they get tactical right away. They just start jumping into, oh, I got to just, you know, message people on Facebook. OK, I'll do that. Oh, I got to just post content on Facebook. OK, I'll do that. Oh, I just got to like network on Facebook. I can do that. But there's no context. There's no context on the intention. There's no uh, who are you going after? What are their problems? Like there's training that needs to happen so that the tactic will work, the tactic on its own will never work on its own. So that's what attraction marketing formula and the coaching calls that are included help put in context for you so that you can build from there with the tactical stuff. 
Amazing. And also, guys, if you have any questions about this, put it, put them in the comments below. Uh, me and Fernie are going to reply. But yeah, click the link, buy the book, and absolutely you will you will love it, I'm sure. So thank you again, Fernie, for, for being here, for your time. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing you soon again. Yeah, brother. Thank you, thank you for having me. Bye-bye.